Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be a how to make any font, text, italics, or bold. I've already done one on the bold one, but I thought I would go and include in this in this second video on how to. Somebody emailed me and wanted to know if there was how do you find a text that's italics, and the one they have isn't, and how could you create it? How could you find you know it on the web where it would be italics? You can take any text. Okay, we're going to click on this text, and this is Times New Romans. And you can see it's got bold, italics, and underline highlighted. And also, when you bring it up, it's got an it's got an arrow key. So it's actually got four texts into your windows. So that will that will work. That will italics. All you have to do is go that and make it italics. But if you take this font right here or text, which is Simpson, I just picked one out. The only thing you can do is underline it. You can't bold it or you can't italic, italic size it. Well, yes, you can. All you have to do is double click on it and use this skew. Now, if you were going to do a lot of words, you would want to group them all together and skew them all the same so they'd be the same angle. But that's very easily done with any any font or any shape matter of fact you know it doesn't have to be a, a font it can be any shape you can use those cues these are your rotation these are your skew anyway so i've already done a video on how to make it bold but i thought i'd go ahead and do it too on this one so this is text non-boldable can't make it any bolder the customer really likes it but they make they would like it a little bit thicker Go up to objects and convert it to curves. Go up here, left click no fill, right click red, right click red, go up to effects, contour, and you can play around with this. I'm going to contour it to the outside 1.1, just one step, hit apply, let's zoom in here. Well, what I should have done, let's do this. Let's make a copy of this. Control D on your keyboard. And then we'll see the difference. Go up here and go break contour group apart and just grab the red. And that's why I did it in red because it's going to contour it in black. Now let's put some, let's get rid of this window. And look at the difference and you can make it you couldn't probably make it much thicker because then you'd lose these lines right here and you might really want to play around with that when you're lasering like that line right there is gonna be so fine it might burn away so that might be a little bit thick but anyway you can make any font italics and bold hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching